Yo world, what is up? Um, Scott Montgomery here, chewing more coca in the Andes on the base of Apu Asangate, the great Asangate mountain spirit, which today has chosen not to show its grand towering face. But that's okay because it's so beautiful and magical out here. I'm coming here, uh, I came here a couple of days ago, been here for like 48 hours. And I've got to say that the last couple of days, the time spinning here with these sacred landscapes and the beautiful, humble, open, simple, and connected community, village life has been heart opening and just um, expanding in ways that I could not have prepared, prepared for. Um, I've been in Peru for almost four years now on and off and I've got to say that I've been I've been living when I'm in the Andes in the sacred valley which is about three hours from here from Apu Asangate and I keep telling myself over the last few years why don't you go and visit this Apu it's supposed to be so amazing but I've just held it off because frankly well I spend a lot of time in my room like writing and and actually a lot of introspection and trying to get stuff done and thinking about all of this stuff I have to do and not getting out as much as I would like to. So this weekend, there was a lot of commotion happening in my house and I was like, I'm just leaving. I'm just going out here to Asangate. A friend uh, had been here, him and his girlfriend had been here, Daniel and Alexis, I love you both. Thank you for um, connecting me with this beautiful family and this community of Pakchanta. They told me about this place and they told me to come visit. And so, anyways, I hopped on a, I was gonna hop on my motorcycle. I got on the bike um, with my friend Olya and we were about to take off. And then I like remembered that the, my insurance on the bike had ran off and that the license plate on my motorcycle had fallen off and I'd lost it. And so I was like, okay, I'm a gringo and I don't need to pay any fines or whatever right now. So I might as well not ride the motorcycle. So we ended up getting on a couple of buses we took, I think it was like four different buses to get here, and then we got in a taxi. Um, it's really not that hard to get here, but it just takes like a couple of hours. So, we got here to this community, and right when you get up the mountainside, you see that Apu Asangate, the great mountain Ap Asangate, was just showing beautiful, beautiful face of snow peaks towering, crystal glowing, glittering, and it's just like, oh my gosh. Wow. So we traveled up towards the community of Pachanta with our friend Angel, who we met on one of the buses on the way to get here, when he overheard us talking that we were going to his village, which is a very small village, and it's really rare for stray gringos to arrive on their own. Tour groups come through a couple of times a day, but they're groups that are like come and ride their horses for two hours and they come back and they leave and they uh, uh, maybe they sit in the hot springs for a little while. So anyways, he was like fascinated. We get to talking and he's like, yeah, so I'm a musician. My dad's a musician. We've got a bunch of instruments if you know of any musicians. And I'm like, um, yeah, I'm a musician. I love Indian music. Let's go hang out. So um, I'm usually not that open and forward towards meeting people and going and staying with them and whatever. But I just sensed this energy from him this brightness and this like genuineness and I think it was definitely right so we um, ended up like hanging out with him and his father and traveling here to this community with them and during the last few days I've met with them a couple of times and just like jam with them on their instruments they play Kena and um, and uh, one of them his son Angel the son plays the accordion and so we jam playing traditional Indian songs I've been really struggling. I'm still growing as a musician. And so it's been a challenge for me at times to actually like jump in and play a new song, especially like with them where I don't know the chords. And frankly, uh, Angel's a really good musician, but his accordion, which he's been playing since he was a teenager, he says, it's way out of tune. And so it's like hard to even know what note he's playing because it's out of tune. And he still has this it's like the energy that he's sharing from it that I think is wonderful. Maybe I can help him tune his accordion and get the, you know, flowing grace more, um, you know, there. But it's been challenging, like I said, number one, because um, I'm a developing musician. My ear for turning, learning tunes and remembering tunes and, and rhythm, uh, I'm still 
kind of settling into that. And so that's been a challenge. And then the number two thing is that a lot of what they're doing is singing. It, it seems like I don't, they don't know the notes or the, the chords or anything. And maybe they're not, sometimes they're not like consistent with what they're doing. Um, so this has came to me now is just from this trip, how important it is uh, for me. And I also want to help empower others, uh, the community, community people, children, community to learn music, uh, and also travelers who come. I want to empower people to, to learn these songs. So that's my next project now is, is we're going to be organizing groups and organizing, helping them organize workshops to share their sacred songs and their stories. So yeah, there's music, which has been for me, like that's the most important thing in life right now. Um, but the other thing is like Angel, the son, the man I met on the bus, he um, offers, he's like, hey, Let's just go walking through the mountains and I'll like I'll just show you around and show you about the plants and the mountains and all the stories. And it's just it's so magical and genuine. And he shows us about the plants and the sacred mountains and the sacred lakes and um and it's all from his heart. He's like, I don't want any money, I just love showing this to you. Um so we went on a beautiful like four hour hike through the mountains and and then we come back to his um village of Pakchanta. And um, frankly, I was really cold because we were soaking with rain. And um, so I jumped in the hot springs for a couple of hours, went back to his house to play more music. And I was, received this surprise of um, the family gave me a, a, a scarf that, that um, Angel's wife knit. And she just gave it to me for free. And I'm like, um, no, that's okay. No, 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 you don't have to give that to me. Like, I um, don't need gifts, just love being with you guys. I'm just grateful to be here. And they like threw it at me. They're like, no, you're taking this. You're giving, we're giving you this gift. So um, yeah, that's just, I'm, my mind is still blown with this just amazing kindness and openness. And um, yeah, I just want to share that. So on that note, I want to talk about um, this sacred tradition in the Andes known as Aini which is sacred reciprocity and it's it, it, it's very deep and I, I don't want to go too much into it right now but the essence of it is it's this reciprocal relationship of, of uh, exchange and um, traditionally people in the countryside would share labor like a family one family might be like come harvest potatoes in our land and uh, we'll go help plant corn in your land and, um, and it's just money's not involved or it might be like, our harvested potatoes will trade for your corn. So it's like, a lot of, in a lot of mountain communities, money is not directly involved. It's more trade between these essential items, which is usually food, because that's, you know, the most important thing besides food and water and housing and love, those essential things. So Aini is related to all of that and this sacred reciprocity. And beyond that, there's this, uh, this faith that what goes around will come around. And it's the divine faith in something larger. It's like this family is coming from this heart of just sharing. We're offering this from our heart because we want to share it with you. And we have faith in the divine flow that what goes around will come around. And I feel that's very true. For me, um, when I receive this gift, something that comes to me is like, I just want to share and open more. And not just for this family. Because right after they gave me this scarf, I'm walking back to my um, house I'm staying at in the village. And there's a uh, young kid, he's like 16. He sees me with a charango and he wants to play and he wants to learn. He's like, I love playing instruments. I used to have like flutes and stuff, but I forgot how to play them. So we hang out and we play music for a bit. And I'm playing the kena, an Indian flute with him. And the time comes when it's time to leave because, well, it was getting dark and it was getting really cold because it's cold up here. And I realized I had to go back home and bundle up. Um, and so I'm leaving and I'm like, wait, I just want to give, I just want to give right now. Here, have this flute, have my kina. I just gave him my Indian flute, this child, um, because he didn't have one and he wanted to play it. And so um, I think that was something, it wasn't conscious at the time, but it was like, I just received this gift of this wonderful scarf. And so I had this just feeling of gratitude and wanting to share. And so I just, I think that that, that, that that inspired me to just open my heart wherever I was going, which at that time was with that child. 
Um, and so I just want to share that and I just want to hope this can inspire others in your daily life, maybe in your day today, to ask you, what can you do to just open your heart and share something with someone you might not know or might not have any like attachment to or have any expectation that, that person will give back to you? What can you just openly share from your heart today? Just do one thing and then share in your comments what that was or what you intend to do. Again, thank you so much. I will leave you with a little Andean jig, a little Andean jam, and um, wonderful day to you. So that was really messy. I know I, <laughs> I was just flowing and whatever. I just wanted to share that love. Wonderful day.